here we go. So Battlefield was just revealed to be in the modern day setting. Going back to the Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 roots, of course, are going to try and gas us up with that because that's pretty much the heyday of Battlefield. You probably saw the first ever concept art that they revealed just before their investor day here in 2024. Um, but then on that investor day, they showed us a couple more images as well as gave us some more information we'll get in today. But a lot of that information actually confirms what happened in the leak earlier in February this year from Tom Henderson over at Insider Gaming, who has leaked tons of stuff very accurately over the years for Battlefield. And the other half that was not confirmed yet was a Battle Royale that, of course, was teased here. I have been extremely skeptical that they would go back to this after Firestorm, but the first thing that we saw on that Monday, right there in that concept art, was a giant Firestorm at the edge of the map, which I didn't see too many people even talking about, thinking it was just part of the game or world. But that's just, that was the Battle Royale that they've already done. Of course, you had to pay a full price to get into that game. There was tons of problems. It clearly didn't get the amount of support that it needed for it. Then seeing them even attempt an extraction shooter with Hazard Zone, it seemed like they had completely given up on going off and doing these different concepts for their game. So now I gotta say, I've 180'd on it. Through the accuracy of the first leak and what we heard from everything that they've been saying so far in these announcements, including the structure for the game with DICE focusing on the multiplayer, Criterion assisting with both the single player and multiplayer, and Motive working on the single player with Ripple Effect, the fourth game studio, all of these being focused on a brand new game mode experience that they keep on saying is going to be big, giant, large scale gameplay, which in 2042, they upped the scale of the game by increasing the player count to 128 players, which absolutely was a giant scale increase. The map sizes were humongous, but because of that, we also only got seven maps from it. Maybe it was even six at the launch. Of course, they didn't even give us a campaign. A lot of the content that was even there was completely broken. The way the game played, there was so many issues. We don't need to get into all of them here, but they acknowledge this stating they're going back to the 64 player maps, something they've already switched to in 2042. They said that specialists were a failure. They're not going back to it, completely going back to what they know with the four class system, which again, they've already reverted 2042 back to as well. So with all of these predictions that Tom had mentioned in this leak post lining up and and this big mode that Ripple's working on that we don't know about, it's its even more validity to what Tom had leaked in that initial article being a free-to-play battle royale in addition to a gauntlet mode, which sounds similar to what Plunder is, essentially taking a page right out of Call of Duty Warzone. But with Battlefield's specialty being big map and that community already hungry for it, I think that is a big differentiator because even, obviously, I play a ton of Warzone now and I see the dismay and the anger that the base Call of Duty community even has for Warzone because of how much they enjoy the small scale 6v6. That's what Black Ops 6 is even going back pretty much completely to. They're not even doing ground war invasion, nothing big. We're done with it. <laughs> even in Warzone, right? They're completely focused on resurgence. That's the new map that's coming. All the ranked mode, everything has just gone to smaller, smaller, faster, faster. The big thing that I thought that they were teasing towards was Levolution, especially talking about Battlefield 4 and the transition from Battlefield 3, I, they had some of the most incredible stuff. I want to show you some of it here because I know a lot of you guys even just came into my community or into the gaming scene with Warzone. Maybe you never even played Battlefield or got into this franchise. Me from the future here with some more insider leaks from Insider Gaming, Tom Henderson. After that investor call, again, we kind of have to take this with a grain of salt, but apparently the Battle Royale will be set in Gibraltar, a tropical location, which makes me, of course, think of Caldera. It's said that there would be 45 weapons at launch, 10 maps, which would be on par with some of those older battlefields and makes sense. The article mentioning a significant overhaul to the game's destruction, but not verifying that it is a return of Levolution. Mentioning over a half a dozen sources mentioned that the game would have caliber-based destruction, similar to Rainbow Six Siege, where if you take a shotgun to a wall, it'll blast open a giant hole, versus a pistol will just leave a couple small elements. You can punch a hole in the wall, use it as a peeking angle. We'll see if they even have that level of depth in this, because generally it's much bigger scale versus Rainbow Six Siege's very small maps. And they 
David mentioned moving downed players, which was in that Battlefield 5 trailer, which was so over the top, so epic uh, compared to what it ended up, of course, being per se. But in a lot of those games, you don't really need to carry anybody. You just jab them with the heal and res them super fast. This could be much better for a Battle Royale mode, though. Something that, of course, now PUBG has. Battlebit even had it for its multiplayer, though. And of course, Delta Force has it as well. And they specifically talked a lot about Battlefield 4, focusing on even having a longer development cycle, the game being tested even for the last year already for gameplay, modern setting. Like this is, this is very exciting, but even 64 people in a game is massive scale. But to me, when they're talking about something big, that's what leads me to think of the Levolution and the big destruction that they've had. This is the other aspect that just destruction in general is what Battlefield has been known for. It was one of the coolest things that they even had going for them in Operation Fire. Firestorm, the previous battle royale that they had. The map as it was closing in was just fire bursting, completely crumbling buildings. I even had a clip of me throwing down an AT mine, shooting it, blowing it up. It breaks half of the building open. There's no sitting in cover there. But I would assume that they would step up the destruction for multiplayer here as well. Of course, even in the beta that they had for Battlefield 4 with the Siege of Shanghai, that skyscraper coming crashing down. You had to shoot out all of the pillars of this building. It wasn't even something like you just go push a button. You actually had to complete an event that wasn't directly told to you, but you destroy enough of the environment and something will happen. In this case, the skyscraper coming crashing down, destroying helicopters that were in its path killing anybody that was still on it or under it, obviously. But you could make this heroic leap off of the top of it if you could make it out in time. On top of Paracel Storm, a ship coming in, crashing into the landscape as the storm is coming, the waters change. Rogue Transition was one of my all-time favorite maps. You put some C4 all around here and you break those wires, which you could also break those wires and have them lash up through the air and destroy jets and helicopters that were flying over if you timed it correctly, but comes crashing down, completely breaks the satellite open. Land King Dam, look at this. The scale of this in a multiplayer battle where you got tanks. If you're under there with a tank, you're just, you're crushed, you're done for. But look at Flood Zone. This was so wild to have all of the water and then the whole map increasing to where now you could start taking boats around different areas that you didn't before. Crazy. Of course, most people know Caspian Border. I mean, there's just so many great examples. And even in Battlefield Hardline, which was a game that I played through a massive amount of, I know in general, most people didn't like it. I think the setting of Cops and Robbers was just not what this game was, even though I guess it was kind of modern setting. It's been over a decade since we've been back to this setting in general, but that game had giant cranes would crash into buildings. Like, yeah, it wasn't like competitive and esport, whatever, but it was so fun and epic. And they didn't necessarily even say that any of this is coming back, but this is kind of what they're inspiring from me with them saying what they're saying in these events. And yes, we've been let down with the jargon that they've used in the past and the hype that they've brought. Sure, don't worry about pre-ordering it. Wait, let's see more about it, but especially with some of the things said towards 2042 and then seeing what the reality of that was. Although they have supported it well and continued on updating it in a good direction. We saw a very bad launch for Battlefield 4 when that first came out as well. And they've made incredible improvements to where it is still, even all these years later, probably the most renowned Battlefield game of the franchise. They also had the community test environment, which they had created, which allowed players to go in, test updates, games prior to them coming out to give them feedback. And that seems to be a big focus with what they're doing here now called Finding the Fun, prototyping, play testing, and giving feedback, saying they've, again, been doing this for the last year, but they want to roll this out at a bigger scale early next year, which is the first timeline we've also heard for Battlefield. Of course, with their absence, other games have been jumping into the space as well. One that's gained a lot of attention lately, even from the Battlefield community, myself included, is Delta Force. After playing through that early alpha that they just recently ended out, of course, being completely free to play, this is garnering a lot of attention with its release later this year, of course, in early access and early next year, the same timeline as this, going to be coming to consoles. At least that's what they've said. I'm kind of doubtful of it, but this is a game that also has 64 players, high action, actually focuses a lot of what 2042 had with specialists within it to a degree. Still has the four classic Battlefield classes, vehicles, although not quite as deep 
as what Battlefield has to offer. Delta Force does have a ton of customization, though. 45 fully customizable weapons compared to 2042's 22 at their launch. But we didn't see any jets, which in this concept art for the new Battlefield game does, of course, have jets, tanks, everything that you would probably expect in this game. But I could see Delta Force as a great game to play while you're waiting for this one to come out later this year. And who knows? By the time this is out at the end of next year, if that is even when it ends up releasing, assuming it doesn't get delayed, which I do think this needs to be a very solid launch for Battlefield, Delta could have some more great updates too. And they're not necessarily completely directly competing with this because they're not going into the Battle Royale space, at least not yet from them either. They're focused much more on the extraction shooter, shooter side of what Battlefield had kind of tried with Hazard Zone, but really is much more targeting the Escape from Tarkov audience, but of course creating a multi-platform cross-play on console, most notably great extraction shooter experience. I've done a couple videos on this and even want to do another outlining some of what the future and what extraction shooters even are because I got such an insane game using an arm in that that whew, might be coming up. But the fact that this game also is going to have destruction is free to play and has all of that offerings with the multiplayer and the different big mode. Um, there's more competition in the space. On top of them deciding to go into the space, theoretically, theoretically at least, of competing directly with Warzone, they are going to really have to bring their A game this time around. And if they can capture some of this magic of what was back in Battlefield 4, we've seen it happen even into the future, even with Battlefield 1, the Zeppelins coming down out of the sky were so epic. Seeing that for the first time, it was just beautiful. If we can get a solid, big scale game battle royale especially that even is free to play with the insane destruction that we've always wanted in any of these battle royales now, i would definitely be concerned with what vehicles look like it even the tanks back in firestorm were a, a bit much but there really is potential to be had here and i know a lot of people have already written battlefield off they're not even going to look at it, whatever. But I, I tell you what, once a beta rolls around, especially the free beta weekend that they'll inevitably have or even week, whatever, I know there is so much interest for this game and franchise that people will at least look at it. And if it is a good game, that is always the caveat. If it is a good game, imagine we even have bigger, more stable servers, better anti-cheat than what is in Call of Duty. That already would be a massive selling point to millions of people that are begging for some good competition to this game. Even if you don't decide to switch over and play Battlefield, this should be a bigger push for Call of Duty to continue to step up their game if they want to keep the players that like this scale rather than abandoning it all for resurgence everything like it has me very excited off of what is very minimal news and i know i'm doing a lot of speculating with this probably more than i typically do but hopefully you see some of the connections that i'm seeing here it makes sense. Tell me what you guys think, but you can bet I'll continue to cover it. I'll definitely be playing whatever it is, or even what you would want to see out of a Battlefield Battle Royale if they really did try this again. Like I said, I did not think that they would ever try it after the flop from the last one and the attempts into these other games. Maybe they would do what Halo did, just focusing on their main game, but clearly that wasn't really working. Of course, they didn't even do enough for it. So anyways, anyways, let me know what you think. And thanks so much for watching. Stonemass64, over and out.